Hey, I'm Charles Hoffman from Black Ghost Audio. Today on the Plugin Alliance channel, we're taking a look at SPL's PQ plugin. Rock with the mob, like it's your job. Make me the boss, round of applause, wait. It's a clean sounding parametric EQ that's intended for mastering purposes. EQs are a dime a dozen these days, so what makes this one unique? Well, it's modeled after the SPL PQ Mastering Equalizer, model 1540-1544, which is a physically massive hardware equalizer that costs close to $8,000. This is actually a revised edition of the PQ model 2050. The 1540-1544 uses 120 volt rail technology, and this is one of its main selling points. Operational amplifiers are used in analog audio circuits and they typically have an operating voltage of plus minus 15 volts or plus minus 18 volts. Beyond that range, you'll end up frying these little devices. SPL developed something called the Supra Operational Amplifier that has an operating voltage of plus minus 60 volts, which is the same as 120 volt DC. This amp operates on the quadruple rail of standard audio electronics, so you end up with something called 120 volt DC audio rail. SPL's rail technology runs twice as high as discrete amps and four times as high as semiconductor amps. The result is more headroom, extended dynamic range, less total harmonic distortion and noise, and less ear fatigue. Within the SPL PQ 1540-1544, the fifth generation of SPL's Supra Op Amp is used. You also find this op amp in some of SPL's other products like the DMC Mastering Console, M16 Multi-Channel Monitor Controller, Iron Mastering Compressor, Pass EQ Passive Mastering Equalizer, SPL's ProFi Series, and SPL's Phonitor Headphone Monitoring Amplifiers. In addition to all of the features offered by the hardware, the SPL PQ plugin has additional software-only features like an input gain knob, high-pass filter, low-pass filter, TMT options, stereo mode switch, a button to randomize the TMT channels, mid-side mode, channel linking, auto listen, total harmonic distortion knob, mono maker, stereo width knob, output gain, input and output meters, along with artist presets. There's a lot of knobs and features, but don't let that put you off. Everything's organized in a way that's simple. The SPL PQ includes five bands per channel that you can use to boost or cut gain by 20 decibels. You have a low frequency band, low mid frequency band, mid frequency band, mid high frequency band, and high frequency band. The left side of the EQ affects the left channel while the right side affects the right channel. The knobs labeled with an F alter the center frequency of the selected band. For example, you can set the center frequency of the high band anywhere from 760 to 24,000 Hertz. As you may have noticed, you can set the bands so that their center frequencies cross over with one another, leading to some interesting summing effects. Each band can be switched on or off and toggled between a constant Q or SPL's proprietary Q. With the prop Q option engaged, the Q value has an effect on the band's gain. As the Q value gets smaller and the bandwidth gets wider, the band's gain is reduced. If you're looking for musical results, you'll want to give the prop Q option a try, and when you need more surgical control over your sound, I recommend starting with the constant Q option. Applause, wait. Give me the checks. Give me your neck. I am a vet. Well, if we ahead, pal. Meet me a bag for show or feature. I'm on the floor back then I was bleaching. Shaping the future. I am a teacher. Look like a model. Need to be featured. Easy. Get to it like ASAP. Big fish, so don't play that. So deep in it. Got ten toes on the ground, dog. And that's straight facts. Ear to the street like I fell over. Boys cold, but hell's colder. Man, I'm so fuego. Never froze over. Real clicked up. Never fold over. Rock with the mob. Applause, wait. Give me the checks. Give me your neck. I am a teacher, look like a model, need to be featured, easy, get to it like ASAP, big fish, so don't play that, so deep in it, got ten toes. Applause, wait, give me the checks, give me your neck, I am a vet, well, if we ahead, pal, need me a bag for show or feature, I'm on the floor, back then I was bleaching, shaping the future, I am a teacher, look like a model, need to be featured, easy, get to it like ASAP. Big fish, so don't play that. So deep in it, got ten toes on the ground, dog, and that's straight facts. Ear to the street like I fell over. Unlike an EQ that you might use for mixing, you'll notice that the steps on each knob are quite small. 
it's possible to adjust the gain, frequency, and Q in 41 steps. Mastering often calls for small EQ adjustments, which is where the quarter gain switch comes into play. Engaging this switch scales the gain value of its associated band, resulting in a minimum and maximum value of negative 5 and plus 5. For example, if the value of the mid-frequency gain band is set to plus 8, and you toggle the quarter gain switch to the on position, a 2 decibel gain boost will be applied to the mid band instead. The SPL PQ has a unique feature called Auto Bypass that automatically disengages and engages the processing you've applied based on the time interval that you've set. This is great for conducting A-B comparisons, and it's a feature you don't find too often on hardware or plugins. Try dialing in all your settings with Auto Bypass engaged. Think of the unprocessed version of your mix as your safe starting point. With Auto Bypass, you'll notice almost immediately if one of the knobs you've turned has had a negative effect or positive effect on your mix. You can catch poor mastering decisions quickly before they snowball out of control. Close, wait, give me the checks, give me your neck. I am a vet, well, aim for your head, pal. Give me a bag for show off feature. I'm on the floor back then, I was teaching. Shaping the future, I am a teacher. Look like a model, need to be featured. Easy, get to it like ASAP. Big fish, I don't play that. So deep in it, got 10 toes on the ground, dog, and that's straight facts. It's. By default, channel link is engaged, so when you turn a knob on one side, bypass a band, or toggle between Q options, the opposing channel inherits the same settings. With channel link disabled, you can apply different processing to each channel. If you find yourself working with a mix that's unbalanced across the stereo field, like an orchestral arrangement where you have tubas pan to one side and flutes pan to another, it might make sense to EQ each channel differently. When disabled, these buttons in the middle bypass the EQ processing applied to each channel. You also have the option to put the SPL PQ into mid-side mode, which allows you to process the center and sides of your stereo image independent of one another. For example, if you're trying to get the main vocal in a mix to cut through clearer, you could apply a boost to the mid-channel around 2000 to 5000 hertz while leaving the sides unaffected. Close, wait. Give me the checks. Give me your neck. I am a vet, well, if we had power. I'm on the floor back then I was bleaching Shaping the future, I am a teacher Look like a model, need to be featured Easy, get Enabling Auto Listen toggles touch solo functionality When you click and hold on a frequency or Q knob The range of frequencies affected by that knob will be soloed Making it easier to dial in your processing Close, wait Give me the checks Give me your neck I am a vet, well Aim for your head, pal Need me a bag for show off I'm on the floor back then I was bleaching Saving the future, I am a teacher Look like a model, need to be featured Easy, get to it like ASAP Big fish, so don't play that So deep in it, got 10 toes on the ground Dog, and that's straight facts it Moving on, we have an input gain control That affects the level of the signal entering the EQ Close, wait Give me the checks Give me your neck I am a vet, well Aim for your head, pal Need me a bag for show off I'm on the floor back then I was bleaching Shaping the future, I am a teacher Look like a model, need to be featured Easy, get to it like ASAP If your mix contains low-end rumble, which typically reveals itself when listening with a subwoofer, you can apply a high-pass filter to clear up the issue. Close, wait. Give me the checks. Give me your neck. I am a vet, well. Aim for your head, pal. Need me a bag for show off feature. I'm on the floor back then I was bleaching Shaping the future, I am a teacher Look like a model, need to be featured Easy, get to Close, wait, give me the checks, give me your neck. I am a vet, well, aim for your head, pal. Need me a bag for show. When synths, guitars, cymbals, and other top end elements in your mix sum together, it can lead to top end harshness. Rolling off some high frequency content with a low pass filter is an easy solution. Close, wait, give me the checks, give me your neck. I am a vet, well, aim for your head, pal. Need me a bag for show off. I'm on the floor back then I was bleaching Shaping the future, I am a teacher Look like a model, need to be featured Easy, get to it like ASAP Big fish, so don't play that So deep in it, got 10 toes on the ground Dog, and that's straight facts it If you were to compare two of the same hardware processing units Side by side They wouldn't sound exactly the same And this goes for all analog hardware There's going to be natural variances In the electronic components used within each unit That contribute to a unique sound for example, some engineers have a go-to channel on their analog mixing console 
that they like to use for vocals, guitar, or bass because they like what the unique character of that specific channel does to the sound. These channel to channel differences aren't big and in your face, but they do exist and when people talk about an analog sound, this is one of the things that they're referring to. Brainworks has developed something called Tolerance Modeling Technology, or TMT, that captures the small differences between electronic components. Using the SPLPQ's channel select knob, you can cycle through different TMT algorithms. Think of this like rotating through different hardware SPLPQs until you find one with the perfect sound. With stereo mode set to A or analog mode, the two TMT channels use different algorithms in the same way that stereo processing gear has different electronic components a part of its left and right channels. Switching the stereo mode to D or digital mode causes both channels to use the same TMT algorithm, similar to the behavior of software and digital gear. You don't have those channel variances. Pause, wait. Give me the checks. Give me your neck. I am a vet, well, if we had power. Meet me a bag for show or feature. I'm on the floor back then I was bleaching. Shaping the future, I am a teacher. Look like a model, need to be featured. Easy, get to it like ASAP. Big fish, I don't play that. So deep in it, got ten toes on the ground, dog, and that's straight facts. It to the street like I fell over. Boys cold, but hell's colder. Man, I'm so fuego, never froze over. Real clicked up, never fold over. Rock with the mob, like it's your job. Make me the boss. Round of applause, wait. Rock with the mob, like it's your job. Make me the boss. The Total Harmonic Distortion or THD knob adds a type of distortion to your mix that's present within all analog audio equipment to varying degrees. Even when turned up all the way, THD tends to be quite subtle and pleasing. Using a little bit of THD is also a great way to glue your mixes together, gently tame transients, and enhance brightness. Applause, wait. Give me the checks. Give me your neck. I am a vet. Well, if we had power, meet me a bag for show or feature. I'm on the floor back then I was bleaching, shaping the future. I am a teacher, look like a model, need to be featured. Easy, get to it like ASAP. Big fish, I don't play that. So deep in it, got ten toes on the ground, dog, and that's straight facts. It to the street like I fell over. Boys cold, but hell's colder. Man, I'm so fuego, never froze over. Real clicked up, never fold over. Rock with the mob. When applied to delicate audio material like folk music that doesn't inherently contain a lot of distortion, the effects of THD will be most noticeable. Next up is the mono maker knob that allows you to sum your low end into mono up to 2000 Hz. Stereo widening effects applied to the low end of a mix can result in phase cancellation issues that make your low end sound weak and lifeless when summed to mono. This is something that you want to avoid while mixing, but sometimes it's unavoidable, depending on how you've generated your bass. The solution is to sum your low end to mono so you can hear how it sounds and then make EQ adjustments as necessary. Applause, wait. Give me the checks. Give me your neck. I am a vet, well, if we had power. Meet me a bag for show or feature. I'm on the floor back then I was bleaching. Shaping the future, I am a teacher. Look like a model, need to be featured. Easy, get to it like ASAP. Big fish, I don't play that. So deep in it, got ten toes on the ground, dog, and that's straight facts. It to the street like I f. Applause, wait. Give me the checks, give me your neck. I am a vet, well, if we had power. Meet me a bag for show or feature. I'm on the floor back then I was bleaching. Shaping the future, I am a teacher. Look like a model, need to be featured. Easy, get to. The stereo width knob lets you stretch your mix across the stereo field. If the hi hats in your mix are being masked, increasing the stereo width will often help unmask them. Beyond adding clarity to your mixes, the stereo width knob can make your music sound bigger and fuller overall. Keep in mind that these are percentage values, not hertz values. At 0%, your mix will play back entirely in mono. At 100%, it will play back as usual. And at higher values, the stereo image will start to spread apart. Pause, wait. Give me the checks. Give me your neck. I am a vet, well, if we had power. Meet me a bag for show or feature. I'm on the floor back then I was bleaching. Shaping the future, I am a teacher. Look like a model, need to be featured. Easy, get to it like ASAP. Big fish, I don't play that. So deep in it, got ten toes on the ground, dog, and that's straight facts. It to the street like I fell over. Up top, there's a V gain control that adds natural sounding noise to your mix. This can help fill out the arrangement in a subtle way. Applause, wait. Give me the checks. Give me your neck. I am a vet, well, if we had power. Show a feature. I'm on the floor 
boy back then I was bleaching Shaping the future, I am a teacher Look like a model, need to be featured Easy, get It's also possible to solo both the mid-channel and side-channel Close, wait Give me the checks Give me your neck I am a vet, well In for your head, pal Close, wait There's a UI button that allows you to switch between three different UI skins inspired by past hardware releases. Finally, the rectangle icon hides and unhides plugin-only features not found on the hardware. The SPL PQ provides undo and redo functionality, letting you roll back processing decisions. It's also possible to test different plugin configurations and compare them to one another by toggling between A, B, C, and D. For example, you can copy the settings that you used for configuration A to configuration B and then make changes. After that, all you need to do is toggle between the two configurations to hear the differences. If you find that your settings have run away on you and you want to start from scratch, just click the reset button and all the current configuration settings will revert to their default values. This plugin has a lot of cool features that are intended for mastering purposes, but it also works great when applied to individual tracks like kick drums, snares, bass, vocals, and more. You can demo the SPL PQ plugin for free for 14 days through the Plugin Alliance website. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up and make sure to subscribe to the Plugin Alliance YouTube channel for more videos like this. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.